With the right technique, you can get a perfect fire every single time. Because in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact order of operations and the principles you need to go from kinda sorta having fire to mastering it within minutes. And you might even find a little life lesson in this too, because aside from being a wilderness survivalist, I'm also a psychology nerd and everything on this channel is here to help you thrive outdoors and beyond the trail. So let's go set some stuff on fire. <laughs> Before you even think about putting a fire in your fire pit, you need to do this step. It's getting cold. Every fire has the same core components. It starts with tinder, something like grasses, paper, or even a fire starter. Then kindling, something that's matchstick size, little twigs to catch from the tinder and then fuel, the larger pieces between thumb and wrist size that are gonna keep your fire going and get it ready for bigger things like logs. Here's a pro tip, especially when you're grabbing tinder and kindling, remember higher is drier. The more off the ground it is, the more time it's had to dry, the faster it's gonna catch fire so you can get that fire going faster. You're also gonna need a fire starter. It can be matches or... I literally just dropped all of these matches in the snow, so we are gonna put what I teach to the test. I got two matches to get this right. Aside from matches and lighters, you can also use a magnesium or magnesium ferro rod, which I'm linking in the description below, or you can use a hand drill as seen here, or the more traditional bow drill. Regardless of what you use to get that initial spark, you're going to need to get everything ready, which is step two. But if, like me, you're getting this off the cold, wet ground, you really need to pay attention to the next part. The success of your fire is determined by how you stage your materials. So to recap, you should have a few handfuls of kindling, those matchstick size pieces, as well as small fuel pieces about the size of your thumb to the width of your wrist. Those will feed the logs. Bring everything close to where you're gonna make the fire. And I recommend having extra kindling and tinder on hand for this. The logs can come later. Make sure you have tinder. If you're new, get a few handfuls. We're ready to go except one problem. The ground is wet and cold where I wanna put my fire. So here's a little trick. Using the fuel pieces, I'm gonna create a dry bed for my fire to start on. You can do this with any wood as long as it's not too small. And now you're ready for the secret to a perfect campfire every single time. Part three of your perfect campfire process is the sacred order of fire. You begin by making a little house for your fire. I like to use small pieces of kindling and tinder that have a little teepee shape. It's in that little opening that I'm gonna put my match or use my ferro rod to get things going. And this is the part where most people go wrong. And I don't blame them because they use the same approach we're taught to use in life. Half the world is burned out, and it's because we're told to live life the same way we think we're supposed to make campfires. Throw some lighter fluid on it, get a tiny spark, and make it explode into something big. But like good things in life, fire is built slowly. It's built with patience, awareness, and the perfect balance of giving it fuel and a little room to breathe. If you wanna... <laughs> Speaking of breathing... <laughs> So here's the secret to a perfect fire. You gotta treat it like your dreams. You take that tiny spark, or in this case, match of an idea, and surround it in a nest of fuel. Give it air so it can breathe. Don't smother it. Slowly but surely, increase the resources you give it. So you can see, I went from these tiny matchstick pieces, and now I'm moving up to things about the size of a pencil. Tinder to kindling, kindling to fuel. It's a progression, not a leap. Just like in life, you can't skip the steps or force the growth. The perfect fire, like anything good in life, requires awareness, patience, and gentle adjustment. 
If you want to level up your fire making, watch this video here. It will show you every way to start a fire, and you will become a wise wilderness wizard in the process. Okay, thanks. Bye. Happy trails.